Hello everyone, welcome to my channel urmishayduworld.com and today I'm going to show you how you can import a SAS data file in Python. SAS is one of the statistical data file. So to import such specific kind of statistical file, you need to import a specific library. So here I'm going to import py read, that is py stands for Python, read as in read, the stat. So this is a very specific library works for the statistical files only. So whether it is a SAS data or SPSS data or stat data. So anything related to such file, you need to import this library. Once you run this cell, you can easily see you, you, if, you, if, you are, if you get an error, which means that you, you might need to install this library and then you can again go and uh, import such library. Once you do this, the second step is to read such file. If you want to read this file, such file, let me show you which file I want to read. So the SAS data file always have an extension of SAS 7B data. So this is other specific type of file which holds only for the SAS. So to read such file, here my file name is mails.sas7b data. So 7b data is the extension of such SAS file. So if I want to import such file, I have to call first the this py read stat as a library. And within this library, there is a specific method called read underscore sys 7 b date. That is for specific to SAS data files. So once you uh, call this method, you have to here add or you can say you have to just write the path for it. So what is the path? I will get it by from the properties. I can see there is a location and then location. This is the path for this file. So whichever the file you want to import, you just have to um, add here the path within the double quotes. So I am just copy pasting this whole path and adding mails dot says seven p date. So and don't forget to add the double quotes in every other folder just otherwise you will get an error out here so when you import a data you need to store somewhere so i'm going to write here df is equal to this file but other than this such statistical file also so store some metadata so for this i'm here i'll just add a comma and write metadata just you can name it anything but i, I want to you know name the same thing that it gives you the exact data metadata is for let's say you want to have the column names you want to get the column labels or how many number of rows are there or how many number of columns are there in this file so such kind of an information you get it from this metadata so in such file you if you want a specific details for this so using this df comma meta you will get both the details df will store you the exact data file what is there within the file and meta will give you such kind of an information so this is how just, let's run this first the cell okay this is successful so after that the last step is to read the file so while reading the file i just only have to write df so once I have run this cell, I get the whole uh, file records what exactly is there are five row, five columns and there are eight rows in total. And these are the column names or these are the labels they have been defined with. And there are null values as well. There, so it's been nan, it's there. But now there is a curiosity for me as well that what is there in the meta. So let's just write meta. So what this meta holds that this is the py read stat, which is giving a container with specific. So these are the giving you some specific information of what exactly the meta It's a container which store the kind of an information related to your uh, data. So let's see, uh, let's have a specific things what the metadata stores. So metadata dot column names. Let's say I want uh, to get the column names. Let's run this cell. See, 
you will get the name score one score two score three and gender and all this in the form of list so it will give you all the column names similarly if i want to get the meta uh, dot column labels then it will give me what exactly the labels are name store score one score two similarly so same thing you are getting right now for the label and the names as well if i want to have the number of rows then meta just want to know the number underscore rows again run the cell you get eight and which is exactly imagine you are having eight rows from zero to seven if you add and calculate this you will get the total number of rows as in eight similarly if i want the number of columns then meta dot number underscore columns this will give me five and which is exactly matching with what we have the number of columns are also five so this is how you can get the details from the sas file and also you can read the file i hope you like this video so if you want to have such videos please hit on bell icon for more notification and you will get the first information about my videos that I have uploaded. And uh, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching this video.